All right, today we're going to be introduced to polynomials. Polynomial, what that? Oh my goodness, me about it. What are you doing around now? Polynomial, that's a weird word. Okay, polynomials. First, let's talk about what does that word mean. Okay, polynomials. Now, poly actually comes from a Greek word. Okay, Greek word. It's a Greek root, which means many. Okay, now nomials, now this is the weird part. Nomial actually comes from a Latin root, which means names. So polynomials means many names. Now we give something a name, a different name, if it means something different, if it's a different, if it's a different type of term. Okay, so by polynomials, we mean many terms. Now that's kind of a misnomer because there don't, really don't have to be a lot of them. There can be two and it's considered a polynomial. But let's go ahead and glance at a couple of polynomials. Now the first thing we need to do in order to talk about polynomials is first talk about monomials. Now if we're going to do monomial, what a monomial is, is one name or one term. So it's a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Okay, so let's kind of pay attention to that definition as we're looking at some. Okay, so are these monomials? Five. Yes, five is a monomial because it is a number and one or more variables, okay, or a product of number and one or more variables. So it is a number with whole number exponent. You say, well, there's no exponent, damn it, about it. Well, there's a 1, right? So yes, there is a whole number exponent. It doesn't have to have variables. It can be a number, or it can be a variable, or it can be a product or multiplication of numbers and variables. All right? Let's look at the next one. x to the third. Is this a monomial? Yes. Yes, it is, because it is a variable with a whole number exponent. Again, number or variable or a product of numbers and variables. Let's look at another one. All right, 3x squared y. Is this a monomial? Yes. In this case, it is the product of a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Here's a number, variables, they both have whole number exponents. All right, let's look at another one. Is this a monomial? Hopefully you said no, because negative 6 is not a whole number. Whole numbers are 0 and then positive integers. If it is a negative number, then it is not considered a whole number exponent. Therefore, it is not a monomial. All right? How about this one? Yes, yes, this is a monomial. You say, but there's a negative 3. Yes, but that negative 3 is not an exponent, is it? It is a number. It's a constant. And so therefore, this can be a monomial because it's a minus, a negative 3. And then my variables are all being multiplied. And so therefore, yes, it is. Is this a monomial? Hopefully you said no. Why is this not a monomial? Well, it has to do with this guy right here, the n right? It has to have whole number exponents. And this n is a variable. We don't know what that n is. It could be a 1. It could be a negative 5, which we already talked about the negatives. It could be a fraction, which would not be a whole number either. All right? Next up, polynomial. So a polynomial now is when we take monomials and we add or subtract them. Okay? Now, very often it will just say it's the sum of monomials. But when we say it's the sum of monomials, the sum, remember, you could add a negative, and that's the same thing as subtracting. Okay? So a sum or difference of monomials. All right? So there's our definition, a monomial or a sum of monomials. So here we go. Let's try a couple. Five. Is this a polynomial? Yes, it is, because it is a monomial. And so since it is a monomial, because it is a number or a product of numbers and variables, therefore it is a monomial, and therefore it is a polynomial. Okay? Here we go. Is this a polynomial? Yes, it is. In fact, there are two monomials here, right? You have this one, which is a variable to a whole number power, and you have this one, which is the product of a number 
and a variable with the whole number power. So this is a polynomial. There are two pieces here, and therefore this is called a binomial. Bi being the Greek root for two. And so we have a binomial because there are two monomials. There we go. Is this a polynomial? Yes, it is. Is 3 a monomial? Yes. Is x squared a monomial? Yes. Is y a monomial? Yes. And you say, well, it's a sum of monomials. Well, we just said that the, it could be minus is the same thing as plus a negative. And if it is plus a negative, then that is, ha that is still a sum because the number can be negative. Remember, the exponent can't. So I have three monomials here. This is what is called a trinomial because there are three monomials that are being added together or subtracted. Okay. Now, anything past a trinomial, we're just going to call a polynomial for sake of simplicity. Okay. So one term monomial, two terms binomial, three terms trinomial. Anything else will just stay this polynomial. Is this a polynomial? Hopefully you said no. This is not a polynomial because none of these are monomials. They all have a negative exponent, which is not a whole number exponent. So y to the negative fifth is not a monomial. Therefore, this is not a sum of monomials. And so the whole thing cannot be a polynomial. How about this one? This is an easy one, right? Yes, this is a polynomial. There's a monomial. Here's a monomial. And there's one. Again, this is a trinomial. That's exactly right. OK? Last one. x to the 0 plus y squared plus 4xy. What do you think? Yes, it is. This is a monomial, right? It's a number in the product of variables. This is a monomial. It's a variable with a whole number exponent. And this is also a monomial. Zero is a whole number. And if you forgot that, what is anything to the zero power? It's one, isn't it, which is just a number. And so yes, this is also an acceptable polynomial. All right? Well, I hope that gave you a good introduction to what a polynomial is, what a monomial is, and then what binomials and trinomials are. Go on to the next video, and we'll look at a, cu a couple more things.